arrived in New York City. I'm staying in Chelsea. And here is my hotel room. Very spacious. I actually changed hotels like two or three times. I think this was the second or third one I ended up going with because it was just the best value. Definitely a lot more space. But here is our bathroom. Very nice. Again, very spacious for New York City. And what I love is that there is a couch here. Like what even? Just for their standard room. This is like a base level room. We've got a lovely king bed. Let's have a look. Definitely not nothing. I mean, when I think no view, I imagine like a brick wall that's just centimeters away from the window. So this works for me. Oh, I can actually see down to the street a little bit. So that's cool. And also she did say like, I really wanted a quiet room. And she said that rooms with a view are a lot noisier. So I was like, yeah, I'll take this one. This works for me. So there we go. This is kind of like my live reaction as well. Cause this is the first time I'm really having a good walk around. I'm loving this couch. It's just great because it means I can probably open up my suitcase here. I think right now I might either unpack a bit, go get some lunch. And then tonight I'm very excited to be meeting up with one of my oldest friends, Brandon, who I originally met 10 years ago in Japan and I haven't seen him for eight years. I'm so excited for that. So yes, I will update you guys again when I update you. Let's go get some lunch. Yay. So I got a chickpea wrap, which looks really nice. Just exactly what I felt like, delish. Wow, just had a delicious lunch. And now I'm heading to Beacons Closet. It's like a 10 minute walk and then it'll maybe only take me 20 minutes to walk back to the Airbnb. So I figure I may as well do that today. Easy thing to do, a little bit of shopping and then I might get a Starbucks and head back to the hotel. You guys, my phone is on like red battery. It's on low power mode, but we're almost at Beacons Closet, which came highly recommended by my friend Brandon. It's his favorite Beacons Closet. So it should be right around this corner. Just got back from my fun little afternoon. I got lunch, went to Beacon's Closet, got a Starbucks. Oh my God, the iced brown sugar oat milk shaken espresso might be one of my new favorite drinks of all time. Like maybe as much as cinnamon dolce, if not more. So it was a delicious little pick me up. And now I'm back at the hotel, which I'm very excited about because I can unpack and I think just relax for the rest of the afternoon. I'm gonna show you guys the two things I got at Beacon's Closet and then I'll do a full try on compilation haul when I get home. So I got this high-waisted cargo skirt, very cute. It does have a couple of holes though. Um, and honestly, considering the holes, it should have been a lot cheaper. I think it was like 15, 16 US dollars, but it looked really cute on. The holes actually don't bother me. That's kind of like distressed. Like I'd even be inclined to distress it more. I had to get this juicy couture handbag. Absolutely amazing. Only 24.95 US dollars. These go for so much online. Look at the J on the inside, on the zipper pull really really good condition i guess i envision it with a sort of a very casual outfit you know oversized tee and stuff and then like a fun statement colorful bag to go with that you know oh i'm just i'm very excited about this i must say i'm pretty proud of how organized my hotel room is right now i've unpacked everything that i plan to use and anything i'm not using i just leave in my suitcase right here so starting on the left we have this little chest of drawers slash mirror section this is just where I keep things that I'm gonna grab on my way out. Behind the door, I have some stick-on hooks. I've got my shoes here lined up, a few more everyday things like my tripod bits and bobs. This is some tape I use to tape my toes so I don't get blisters because I am prone to blisters in some of my fashion shoes and this prevents it, keeps them comfy. And sometimes I'll take this with me if I need to reapply. So yeah, don't treat the blister, prevent it. This is how I have my bag set up in the corner of the room. So I still have this area to sit and put on my shoes. And this is just, look, I don't know if you guys will find this interesting, but they have some plastic cups in the room. So I use them to cover the wheels so they don't damage the wall. And then I use the plastic covers from those cups on these wheels here to cover the wheels so I don't 
damage the sofa. You've got some stuff by my bed. I call that my bag of tricks. It's just random essentials, pajamas and this comfy Boston Red socks. Um, like super oversized long sleeve sunglasses. I might move over here so they're a bit easy to grab. Just like a bit of a charging station. Oh, this is my jewelry. More sort of electronic y things like charging cords, whatever. My lunchbox, um, my supplements, vitamins, and stoof. And then this is like kind of snack corner. This is a Starbucks cup, like a proper washable, reusable one that I just like to bring with me. Surprisingly, so handy because they only have really like crappy plastic cups, like you saw here. They don't have actually proper like glasses, mugs or anything so I'm really glad I have that. Alcohol which I use to disinfect things and then also just an empty bottle which I like to hold on to just to refill. Here is the closet situation. Up here I have pants and the skirt I got today and then we've got just more of my clothes. I doubled up on this hanger, t-shirt. Um, oh I just realized I need a hanger for the one I'm wearing. Then um, yeah just like more stuff that I want to hang. I have some bags hanging up on here like the one I got today. Laundry here. My flare pants, we have black and brown. They're just hanging there just to get the creases out. And then these pants. Down here I have folded clothes that don't need to be hanged just to save hanging space. My backpack and I moved the ice bucket in here because I'm not gonna use it. And then also hanging up here, um, I probably don't, I don't know if this is helpful ha having these here. Like I put, for example, this is still damp from yesterday. So I put it here above the AC to try and dry it more quickly. And this is completely clean. I just thought putting it here might also help get the creases out by putting it here. I don't know if it's helping. My duffel there with just more stuff I'm not using on this leg of the trip and my laptop and charger and that is the room tour. Oh and the bathroom is not ready yet. I need to put out all my skincare. It doesn't look as nice and organized. This is all I've got going so far. My skincare is in there. Oh my umbrella is hanging here too dry. When I show you guys these things sometimes I think people will watch and sort of mistake me for this like ultra organized person. Not, I definitely don't think I am. I just find this fun. It's like decorating, making it more homey. I mean, it is organization too. I do enjoy that. It makes the mornings and evenings so much more stress-free when everything has its place and I, I know where everything is when I'm getting ready to go somewhere. Yeah, I guess I just don't consider myself some like ultra organized person. For example, I was running 30 minutes late this morning because I had to keep weighing and adjusting the distribution of weight between my two bags and that was not very organized of me. So uh, there we go. Hope you guys enjoyed that spiel and I'll check in with you later. Hey guys, so I'm heading out to meet Brandon for dinner now at Veggie Grill, I'm so excited. And I just threw on a little repeat outfit because it's nice and warm, because it's rainy and pretty chilly. So yeah, nothing you guys haven't seen before. I'm really excited. I'm gonna get going out and I'll see you guys there. Wow, you guys, this is the fanciest Home Depot I've ever seen. Look at this, beautiful. It is rainy, but I'm cozy. And, uh, I can't I can't lift my phone out far enough in front of me because my phone will get wet. So you get close up angle. Brandon is getting a cup for water. We've split two things. We've got a fish, uh, crispy fish sandwich. Obviously everything's vegan here, it's veggie grill. Um, so yeah, vegan versions. And then a Reuben. Bringing back skinny jeans. Yeah. <laughs> and this the power beam. Very squid. I love your shirt. Today is about warmth and comfort. Uh, kind of a repeat outfit. Got this ribbed turtleneck, APM Monaco necklace, a thrifted vest. And these same jeans, same old shoes and jacket. The weather is not great today, so I wanted to go with this jacket at least as a starting point because it's more sort of weather friendly. And then these pants are nice and heavy duty. And then, yeah, this. Um, just provides some warmth. Not that exciting. Because the weather isn't so great today. Oh, wow, look at that rain. If the rain reaches these windows, it makes me think the rain's heavy and or it's it's windy. Oh, I can see into the rooms over there. <laughs> makes me think they can probably see into me as well. I am gonna try and get the subway today, so wish me luck with that. I don't even catch the trains in Sydney. Uh, if I do get public transport, I get the buses and ferries. And then I drive, obviously. Trains in Japan, easy. But yeah, I, I think I'm just gonna do, like go get something to eat, maybe check out a few stores on my list. I really don't wanna be out too much in weather like this. And you might be saying, Sophie, why don't you go to a museum? Why don't you go do an indoor activity, hmm? 
because it's Saturday and I know it's gonna be packed, especially considering it's raining and the weekend. So I'm just gonna keep it chill and take you guys along with me. I made it to, uh, I don't actually know what neighborhood I'm in. I am very glad I dress practically. You guys, I'm getting so wet. I'm thinking this might be one of my only stops for today because my jeans are so wet. <laughs> I think my feet are starting to get wet too. It's honestly so funny. Here we are. Orchard grocer. Here's my sandwich from Orchard Grocer. I got the Francis, and I also got one of their coffee cakes, kind of chocolat, and then I got some groceries. I got this vegan queso, um, like this little snack sausage thing that I thought like looked so interesting. I got a coffee to drink. It's just like a um, nitro cold brew latte, and this is where I'm sitting, and it's kind of wet, but like I'm already wet, so I sort of don't care. But I'm just gonna eat this, and then maybe head back kind of early, because this weather is brutal. Why smell your food before you eat it? Gives a better experience. I'm having so much fun. Even though the weather's terrible, I'm having so much fun. I think I really need a fork for this and a knife and a plate. Hmm. Okay. Shoot. I've been chilling back at the hotel room for a bit and now I'm actually gonna go get my nails done because they are very grown out. It's hard to see with French, which is exactly why I got a French, but it is very, very grown out and they're very long. So the place is about like 10 to 12 minutes away and I got a booking for like right away basically as soon as I get there. So that's what I'm gonna do because dinner i'm actually having dinner with brandon again and his partner paul and that is until eight tonight so i have lots of time get my nails done also as a side note getting your nails done in the us costs an arm and a leg <laughs> like the prices here are the same as australia but because it's in us dollars it's more expensive for me so if that if that explains it <laughs> oh well i mean Got to do what you got to do for um, for the for the aesthetics. I just put some dry pants on. My jeans are hanging up to dry. So anyway, I need it going. Just get my nails done. Let's go. Obsessed with my new nails. This is actually what I wanted my previous nails to look like, the nail tech. Uh, this one was very skilled and really took her time using a fine brush to get this curved French tip that I wanted. Very happy with it. And then she was taking photos after. She said, I think to show her husband or something. I don't know. I just thought that was really nice. So yeah, love it. <laughs> More secure for traveling. Oh, okay. I love so that. Be prepared for like. Oh, perfect. Hey guys. Okay, sorry. I've already like turned off the lights in preparation to leave. Just like cozy, trying to wear something kind of like different that I haven't uh, vlogged too much with or photographed in, you know. But also stay warm. So, yes, I'm very excited to be spending the day with Brandon today, and I'm heading to Brooklyn now heading to Bushwick. So uh, yes, wish me luck on the subway again, even though you're watching this vlog a lot later than when it's happened, just still wish me luck anyway. And somehow maybe it'll like transcend time. All right, I have arrived in Bushwick. This is my first time in Brooklyn. I'm already having so much fun. I'm waiting for Brandon now. He's gonna be here any minute at this place called Other People's Clothes. Looks really cool. Brandon and I were just talking about how these started things are giving like early 2010s. This, this one, you're gonna get it yeah, I think for the so. for the early 2010s it vibe. Literally matches my outfit. Yeah, today. oh, it goes so well with your the like the <laughs> turquoise. Yeah, and I know I'm like borderline not quite ready for turquoise, but. So again, right next door, I can do shoes. <laughs> All right, cool. That is a very bougie-looking truck. Alrighty. Big old truck. 
I'm with Brandon, obviously, you guys know. And I got two things at other people's clothes. Yes. The thrift store Bushwick. in Bushwick. And now we are walking to Champ's Diner, which is an all vegan diner. Brandon is um, like deathly allergic to whey protein, correct? Whey? So yeah, he's like all on, he like loves the vegan stuff because it's, it's, it's all safe for him, yay! We're all doing our photos now, so we are sharing these things. We have the cinnamon swirl pancakes, which look absolutely insane. We have the cheese tots and the BEC bacon, egg and cheese with just egg. So we're going to enjoy this now. What are you looking for? Want bagel. We're here at Artisan Please. Art Artisan Please. All right, we're going in. It's exactly the cut of a top that I'm looking for, you guys. And I love that it's Harley Davidson. It is everything. But I love this too. Oh my gosh, look at this. I see a lot of Harley stuff on eBay, but these are some of the nicest pieces I've seen. Let's see. Oh, that's really nice. They've got good stuff. They got designer too. Like this is like a Galliano newspaper top. Oh, look at that hoodie. Wow. Whoa. I... With Ed Hardy. Look what Brandon has found. Oh, that is really nice. It's like who needs the new new skirt when you have like the OG? Oh, exactly. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, that is so cute. I love that Valentino shrub. Yes. Gives me like Sharpay, a little bit of like Sharpay Evans. Yes. Like a little newsboy cap. Yeah. Did you see this limited two top? Oh my limited God. two. The Rosalie oh, yeah. vest. Very cute. This is so early 2010 spank. Oh my God, I know, right? right? I think the last time we met up in Japan, like the first place we went together was Spain. Yeah, it was right. Spain. That's when we met was in Spain. Dress. It is so cute. I love that. What brand is it? Nine West. That's really nice. That's super cool. It says Very a simple plan on the back. I don't understand why it's still there, to be honest. Yeah, it's so cool. Really. Brandy and I got pink drinks. Yeah, this is my first time. Yeah, because coconut milk, no dairy. <laughs> so no deadly reactions, yay. We're gonna go chill. What? What is? Where are we? What is the name of this park? I think, I think it's McCarran Park. McCarran Park. We're in, in Greenpoint. We're in Greenpoint. That I know. Cool. Hi, baby. Hello. Hi, little snuggle pod. Done for the day. I think we did a lot today, though. You know, yeah. it's like the perfect mix of like shopping hard and then chilling. 